Let me face you guys as I'm telling you the most important idea of calculus. The most important idea in differentiation, at least, is that no matter what curve you look at and how curved it appears to be, as long as it's smooth, by the time you zoom in on it sufficiently, it will look straight. So, if this is the Earth, the surface of the Earth, and I zoom in on this section, it'll look like this. And you'll say, well, that still shows a little bit of, a, of curvature. But if I zoom in on this part, it will look like this. And no matter how curved it appears to be, if I zoom in sufficiently, it will just appear straight. Now, the way we teach calculus uh, takes you away from this idea. Because in calculus, you focus, the way we teach it is you focus, well, it's never actually straight. And you know what? I should have acknowledged the slope both times. Because the slope, so here it's still a little curved. And here it's, you know, if you zoom in enough, it just appears straight. But it does preserve its slope no matter how much you zoom in. So you start with something like this and you say it looks like a circle. And you zoom in and you say, well, it still looks like a circle, but of a larger radius, but I still know it's a circle, right? And that's because you're looking at the wrong thing. What you should be, what your brain should be thinking is that, hey, it's pretty much straight. And now it's almost completely straight. And now I can't even tell it looks straight, but it has that characteristic slope so that slope is what characterizes the line. It's a characteristic of the line. And, it's, and I know that it's a clean concept because if I zoom in enough, it's just going to appear straight. It's just going to appear straight. So you've got to wrap your mind around that. Even if you take a funky function, you know, you can think of functions that look like this and just start just crazy curvature and crazy frequency. I think a good example is something like uh, sine of 1 over x, like something like this. Because it's sine of 1 over x, the wiggles become more and more and more frequent, and it just gets to be, the frequency gets to be infinite at the origin. So it kind of goes like this, and it really, you really think it's going to be just so curved no matter how much you zoom in, because there are infinitely many squiggles. And of course, this x squared goes a long way towards straight, you know, evening it out, smoothing it out. It doesn't get rid of the wiggles, but it does smooth them out. So even if you zoom in on x equals zero, right, you will see this. It's just the fact of life that you've just got to not just wrap your mind around, but just completely embrace. Uh, all curves are straight if you look at them closely enough. The way we teach calculus is all curves are curved even if you look closely enough. It's just that sometimes you look at the Earth and you think it's, that it's flat and you're stupid, right? Because it looks flat, but you should know that it's not flat. That's sort of the emotion with which we approach curved things. But the right way to embrace it from the calculus point of view is that no matter how curved it is, if you look closely enough, it's flat. And then it's a straight line. And then the slope of that straight line is the slope of the curve you're looking at. So it's a perfectly clean concept. So, if we take this curve, right, and we're considering h smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller, so we keep zooming in on it, it'll be straight. It will look like this, right? And not only that, so that's another thing to, not just to wrap your mind around it, but to embrace. Let's say we zoomed in by a million, by a factor of a million, then this point right here might be 
our scientific notation. 1 e minus 6, right? And then this point right here will be 2 e minus 6. Not only, what I'm trying to say is that they will be equally spaced, right? No matter how crazy the parameter is, you know, you've chosen zeros here, ignore what I have here. Okay, I'll draw a new curve. You'll say, hey, here's my parameter. This is zero. This is one. But this is two. Ha! Right? I really slowed down there. And then this is 2.1. Right? And you're really screwing with yourself with this parametrization, right? It's just all over the place. Totally nonlinear. Right? You were not traveling at a constant velocity. You went fast, then you slammed on your brakes, and then you really floored it. That's legit. But if you take any section of it and you zoom in on it, so totally nonlinear. But just the way things become straight, if you zoom in enough and you look at how your parameter is, it will look totally linear. And it will be linear. And this will be 2 times 10 to the minus 6. And this will be 3 times 10 to the minus 6. And this will be 4 times 10 to the minus 6. That's the idea of calculus. That's the fundamental fact in calculus. Okay? Now let's just do the same calculation, but on this level of zoom. Right? You take h equals 2 times 10 to the minus 6, and it looks like this. Right? Because you just connect the tips. So it's just right along the line. It points right along the straight line, or the line that now appears straight. And so you, when you find the difference, and then you divide it by... 2 times 10 to the minus 6, it'll be a certain vector. And then when you do this thing, right, the difference is twice as small, but what you're dividing by is also twice as small, so it'll be the exact same vector. So yes, it does approach a very nice and clean limit, right, and it is points along this, along this straight line, which we understand to be the tangential direction. So... I just want you to have this intuitive understanding because that just carries you through a lot of, uh, a lot of situations where you just want to know what's true even if you're not being formal about it. This is all about figuring out what's true and not worrying about the details. And of course modern math, nothing wrong with that, entirely flips this approach on its head and if you say What's the definition of the tangential direction? They will say it's wherever this derivative points, right? This becomes the definition. And then the concept of tangent, the tangent straight line, becomes the secondary notion. And we would say that the tangential, the tangential direction is wherever this vector defined thus points which is also fine. Math is about turning things on, its, on their head.